In this video, we're going to learn how to set up your Bitfinex Pulse profile. It's really easy to do and you get started by clicking the Bitfinex Pulse icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. Once you've done that, you need to decide what your Bitfinex Pulse nickname is going to be. This can be anywhere between 4 and 32 characters and this can be anonymous. You don't have to use your real name on here. Once you've done that, you'll need to take a look through our terms and conditions and agree to those. You can't proceed to the next step until you've scrolled to the bottom, so do take some time to take a look through these. Now you'll have access to the Bitfinex Pulse profile, which appears on the right hand side of your screen. You can start to browse through some of the pulses, or visit your profile. Here you can add an image and also upload your bio too. Once that's complete, just click save, and you're ready to go. You can continue to browse through the pulses by clicking home and using the side menu or you can click full screen and enter the full screen Bitfinex Pulse platform. This is where you can start to create pulses also. Every pulse has a title and main body. As with most social networks, hashtag content is searchable. There's different options like adding in emojis and also format the text with bold and italic characters. Once your pulse is created, there's a few options available to you. You can either pin it to the top of your profile, or you can set it to public so the rest of the community can also see this. To create a public post, your account has to be verified. You can also browse through the most recent pulses here, and if you want to, you can see what's trending also with the different hashtags. Once you click on these, it will bring up every single pulse that someone's made a post about. You can also view a user's profile as well to learn more about that particular user. You can click the heart button to like a post and you can also click the share button to share on other social networks or get a shareable link for that particular pulse. You can also report any pulses that you feel don't meet the Bitfinex guidelines. Going back to your profile you have a few options to remove the ticker at the top of the screen and from here as well you can also send out pulses by clicking the icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen. If you want to learn more about the Bitfinex Pulse platform, we do have more information on our Hub Center. The link will be at the bottom of this video, so please check it out. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to get more updates from Bitfinex on competitions, platform updates, and also future releases of new tokens.